Okay, so I downloaded all my firmware from uh, GitHub. I just went on here and it's right here. You just go search for Audusor. This is it. It's by Samuel uh, Tabor is what it looks like here. And anyway, this is where you download it from. You're going to scroll in here to the bottom of the page. I don't know if you can see. And you click right here on this link. And then you're going to go to this one right here. This is the one that you want. And click download, and that'll download a hex file. And then after you have downloaded the file, you're going to go into APM, come up here, install firmware, custom firmware, click that, and then that's where you will choose that hex file that you previously downloaded, and it'll go ahead and load it in there. So anyway, I already have it loaded up, so let's go ahead and, and look at the full parameter list. Whoops, need to select the right right thing here. Okay. Now we now we're mode change to initializing for system one. Mode change to auto for system one. Okay, so here we are. Here is some of the settings here. I'm going to go ahead and show you which ones are new. All these ones that are under SOAR, these are all ones that are that are added on uh, to the additional RD plane firmware. This is not on this is not found on the standard firmware. So what you have here is the first value, you can set it to zero to turn the soaring function off or as I have it set to 1 here, this actually enables the function if it is set to 1. And then your soar altitude cutoff, this right here is going to be the maximum altitude that the craft will, will soar to in a thermal uh, by using motor power. And after it hits this altitude, which is in meters, it will go ahead and, and shut off the motor and proceed to glide. Now, the next one is soar altitude max. This parameter is actually the maximum altitude or the absolute maximum altitude that the craft will ever attempt to go to in a, thorm in a thermal. And then we have soar altitude minimum, which is the lowest altitude that the craft will go to without turning on the motor and returning to soar altitude cutoff. And soar distance ahead, I haven't found any documentation on on what this contains, but for soar minimum crew or uh, this is the minimum time spent uh, looking for a thermal, and then this is the minimum time spent actually in the thermal. And these are some other parameters that you can look up on the GitHub site but I do know for a fact that this one here is your vertical speed in meters a second that that will uh, it's like the threshold before the the plane actually goes into the thermal mode where it will start to circle and track the center of the thermal by updating the waypoints coordinates in order to to stay in the lift of the thermal So anyway, that pretty much does it for all the specialized parameters for this autonomous soaring glider, also known as my Radian Pro. But I'll post some flight videos soon and see how the performance is. It's been pretty cold around here lately, so I'm just kind of getting it programmed out and uh, just waiting for a break in the weather in order to take it out and watch her fly. Well, thank you for watching my videos, and I'll see you soon.